enjoyed watching all of our awesome assemblies on the fruits and the fruits of the Spirit. With me, Mr. Etherton and Mr. Badger. We've got some melon, three different types. We've got a great bunch of bananas here and a pineapple. And I'm putting them all in my wooden truck, which is a wooden basket that you only get in Sussex. We've got two large cooking apples and a red and a green apple. We've got some large oranges and that's not orange, it's a grapefruit. Here's another orange and we've got some satsumas and clementines here, like small oranges. Oh, we've got a lemon, nice lovely yellow lemon. We've got three pears, let's add to my basket and we've got some what are these called? Kiwis! We've got some kiwi fruit too. So let's add those to my basket. And here we've got some delicious plums. Look at these lovely plums that we've got here. Absolutely beautiful. And we've got some soft fruit here. We've got some grapes, got some blueberries, some raspberries and some strawberries. I don't think I'll add those into my truck because they'll get squashed. And Mr. Badger's got his coconut. Mr. Badger, we're not thinking about coconuts, we're thinking about fruit. We will think about coconuts in another awesome assembly very soon. So keep subscribed and keep watching and looking out for the coconut. Mr. Badger and I have done nine assemblies so far on each of the fruits of the spirit and you can look them up on YouTube if you have missed out on any of the fun that we have had. Doesn't this trug of fruit look delicious? Mr. Badger can't decide which one to eat first, can you Mr. Badger? Today we're going to think about all the fruits of the Holy Spirit and we are joined by our good friend, Reverend Anne Weisnicker. Hello everyone. And she will be sharing her thoughts on the fruits of the Spirit later in this awesome assembly. So it's really important that we wash our hands and dry them. Well, I hope you have enjoyed our awesome assemblies on the fruits that we've been thinking about, but on the fruits of the Spirit. We've thought about all of the fruits of the Spirit, of love, of joy, of peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. But of course, it's not just being one of those things. We don't want you just to be kind, but have no joy. We don't want you to be gentle, but not show love. We want you to have peace. We want you to have goodness and self-control. All of the fruits should be mixed together. And I have made a lovely fruit salad with lots of fruits that I have got. And I'm going to put in a little, because what's that, Mr. Badger? Oh, Mr. Badger wants to put his coconut in the fruit salad. Mr. Badger, a coconut's not really a fruit that you can put in a fruit salad. I think we need to look at this another time. Okay, all right, Mr. Badger. But what we can do is enjoy some of our fruit salad. We've got pineapple, we've got raspberries and grapes. We've got banana in here. We've got some watermelon. We've got apple. We've got black currants. We've got lots and lots of different fruits. I can't name them all. And now I'm going to enjoy with Mr. Badger eating my delicious fruit salad. Mm. It's lovely having a, a, a palette of flavours. There's some sweet, some slightly sharp, 
some soft, some quite crunchy. This is good. This is how it should be. It's just fruit chopped up and put into a bowl. Maybe you could ask whoever you live with, what's your favourite three fruits? And ask your mum or dad or whoever you live with to chop them up and to put them in a bowl. You might even have a little bit of ice cream with it or a dollop of cream as a special treat. Hello everyone. I know that Mr. Everton has been talking to you about the fruits of the spirit system. And talking of fruit, I wonder if you have ever picked apples from an apple tree. Fruit farmers grow rows and rows of apple trees to give us all the apples we buy in shops, like this one I've got here. The farmers have to look after the apple trees. They have to feed them and water them and give them enough sun as well to get the best apples possible. God is like the apple farmer. He looks after us. He takes care of us through the Holy Spirit to help us grow into the best people that we can be. With the help of the Holy Spirit, which is God working in us, we can grow into good people by being good and kind and loving and all the things that makes us the way God wants us to be. God sees the fruits of the work of the Holy Spirit in us, like the apple farmer sees all his work in beautiful apples like this one, which is so good, I'm going to eat it now. Let's ask God to help us to grow all of the fruits of Spirit in our lives. So let's do that now. Dear Lord, we thank you for all that we have learnt over the last few weeks. Lord, help us to show love, to love our neighbour. Help us to be filled with your joy, not just temporary happiness, but true, deep joy. Help us to be peaceful, to know your peace in times of difficulty. Help us to be patient when we want things to be quick. Help us to be kind, not to bully others, but to be kind. Lord, fill us with your goodness. Help us to be faithful. Help us to be gentle with those around us. And Lord, help us to show self-control throughout our lives. Lord, we ask that you would be with us, that you would fill us with your Holy Spirit and that we would grow these fruits in our lives more and more. Amen. So, that is from Galatians chapter 5. You can look it up and I'm going to enjoy mm, the rest of my fruit salad. Mm. I don't know if you can see it, but I've got this board behind me which shows us all the fruits of the spirits, each one represented by a real fruit. And I know Mr. Everton has explained all this to you. I like the pineapple best, which represents gentleness. But they're all great, really. And so let us now thank God for all he gives us. You put your hands together and close your eyes as we say, Dear God, thank you for the Holy Spirit, which helps us to be kind and loving and gentle and patient and gives us all the fruits of the Spirit. Help us to make room for all these things in our hearts and in our speaking and our doing every single day. Amen. I'm going to say goodbye for now, but I hope to see you all soon. Take care. God bless. Big question. The Apostle Paul wrote in his book to the Galatians, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. There is no law against things 
like this. Why don't you ask God's Spirit to help you grow in these fruits? The little question. Thinking about all the different types of fruit and fruits of the Spirit, is there one fruit that you find difficult? Is it to love? Is it to be joyful? Is it to be peaceful or show self-control? Which one is it? Ask God to help you. <laughs>